Air. It's Tuesday, July 29th, 2008. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. Today we're going to head over to Austin, Texas and join Chuck Olson, who's been at the Netroots Nation conference. That's the conference all about progressive politics. Chuck? Hello, friends. Chuck Olson here in sunny Austin, Texas. And I'm at the third annual progressive blogger convention, Netroots Nation. My name is Spike, and what brought us here to Netroots Nation is, is we wanted to voice our opinions on health care, animal rights, and just generally conservative values and how they have ruined this nation. I caught up with Marcos Mulitsas, the founder of the Daily Coast website that spawned the conference. Well, our party uh, will have power, and it's clearly we're going to win these elections and, and win them big. Uh, I'm going to be an outsider always. Uh, this is where I'm comfortable with. And we've seen it the you know, last couple of weeks with us being a little upset about uh, Barack Obama over his vote on the FISA issue, right? I, I think we're always going to be an outsider check on our party. Among the more than 2,000 citizen journalists and commentators in attendance was NYU journalism professor Jay Rosen, who offered up this definition of citizen journalism. Lots of people want to know what citizen journalism is. Well, I'm going to tell you. When the people, formerly known as the audience, employ the press tools in their possession to inform one another, that's citizen journalism. Got it? Got it. But are they having an impact? Carl Frisch from the media watchdog group Media Matters says yes. It feels like this year has been the year of the apology. Uh, you, you know, when, when Bill O'Reilly is apologizing in his own special way uh, for maligning Michelle Obama, and Edie Hill is apologizing from Fox News for her terrorist fist jab comment. And Chris Matthews is apologizing for being a sexist. And David Schuster is apologizing for, you know, saying what he said about Chelsea Clinton. Those things happen because people are taking power into their own hands to hold the fourth estate responsible. Among the political influentials in attendance were House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Al Gore. Proposing to, to, to get a slight increase in oil drilling for to be sold to China 10 to 15 years from now as a solution to our rising gasoline prices it makes about as much sense as responding to an attack from Afghanistan by invading some other country. Perhaps the most interesting and controversial person I talked to at the conference was author Erwin Tang. My name is Erwin Tang, and I'm uh, the author of a new book called Gook, John McCain's Racism and Why It Matters. John McCain said, I hate the gooks. I will hate them as long as I live. He used the word gooks to refer to Vietnamese people for 27 years until he decided that it was going to put his presidential campaign in jeopardy. If he had used the N-word rather than the G-word, gook, we would have disqualified John McCain for the presidency immediately. 